Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install or update microsurveys Field Genius. And what I'm going to do to begin here is I've just got uh, the microsurvey download page open here, and I'm going to choose the most uh, recent and the newest version of Field Genius, which at the time of recording this video is 10.4.1.2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click that link and open the page. And that's going to bring me to the download page where there's some legal mumbo jumbo and the PDF manual and you can also find the patch notes here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to this installation box here and I'm going to want to download by clicking the tablet installation exe link here, uh, the installer. So that's just going to take a second here and then I will open it up uh, in my downloads folder here where I'm going to want to double click it to launch it. So it might take a second here, but you're going to get a prompt that's going to ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You're going to hit yes, um, and then that will bring up the actual installer file. So it just popped up on the other window here, and I've just got this microsurvey Field Genius 10 window. Um, and it, this is the first part of the installer. It's just loading and booting up here. And once it's done loading, you're going to see this setup rep requires this much space on your hard drive. You can choose a different hard drive if you wanted to save it somewhere else, like if you were using an office computer instead of the Mesa. Uh, in this case, I'm just using my office computer, so I'm just going to save it to the C drive. And I'm going to also want to make sure that I've checked the uh, license term and conditions agreement box. And then it's going to ask me if I want to have all the quick launch options and everything in the installer installed. So in this case, I'm going to allow it to install shortcuts on my desktop uh, and in my menu folder and my startup folder. Just makes it easier when I'm trying to access Field Genius if I can find it quickly and all those options allow me to do it. So I'm going to leave those as checked and then hit install. Uh, and this will take two or three minutes to just run through the installer and Keep in mind that if you're updating Field Genius and this isn't your first time installing it on the computer, um, that your registration key for Field Genius is actually saved. Uh, you don't need to worry about getting a picture of that or finding, finding it in your software after you have it installed. Um, if you've already registered Field Genius and you're installing an update, um, it will keep that registration. So I've skipped ahead here so you didn't have to watch the whole installation. Um, and when it's finished installing, you'll see the screen uh, and I'm just going to hit finish there in the bottom right corner. At which point, it's going to ask me if I want to restart my computer in order to finish the install. Uh, and in order to use Field Genius here, you're going to have to restart your computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, uh, and I'll be back in a moment here. So I've finished restarting my computer here, and you can see I have two shortcuts for Field Genius in the top left corner. And if I click the uh, bottom one here, Field Genius 10, you can see that it launches that first screen for Field Genius. And you can see right there in the middle, I have version 10.4.12, which is the version we downloaded from their web page. That's everything for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video, or you have any questions about Field Genius in particular, please give us a call at one 888 286-3204, or you can visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.